Hi guys, this is part 8 of my Nintendo DS collection. Uh, here we go. Magnetica. This is a clone of Luxor in outer space. Only thing is you use your stylus to uh, shoot random marbles at uh, other marbles to make them explode so that, uh, so that you can break the link so it doesn't get to the end of the level. Mahjong Quest Expeditions. These are basically different modes of the Mahjong Solitaire game. Uh, if you like Mahjong Solitaire, it's pretty good. You know what I'd like to see one day? An English language version of the real Mahjong. You know, the one with uh, Kongs and Pongs and Chows. You know, where it's got four people sitting around a table and you're trying to meld your uh, tiles. I'd like to see that someday in English language. I know they got them on the DS, but uh, I think they're all in Japanese, so I wouldn't be able to understand them. Margot's Word Brain. It's basically a bunch of uh, puzzle ga uh, word games. Some of them are clones of other games, like uh, I'm trying to think of that one that's on PopCat with the worm, but uh, Bookworm. Yeah, there's a Bookworm clone on here. Also, I believe there's a uh, crossword puzzles and stuff like that. Basically, it's pretty generic, but if you're into that stuff, you might be okay. Mario Hoops 3-on-3, three three, a beautiful looking game starring Mario playing basketball. It's pretty fun, but it's uh, kind of easy so far. Mario Kart DS. Excellent. Excellent racing game. I love this game. It's an absolute blast. If you love Mario Kart, you'll love this game. be interesting to see what they do on 3DS with that. Mario and Luigi, Partners in Time. I love this game. Beautiful graphics on any mar uh And uh, the story's pretty fun. Also, I love the RPG elements of it. Mario and Luigi, Bowser's Inside Journey. Excuse me, Mario and Luigi, Bowser's Inside Story. I don't know why this one didn't grab me. It's just as well done. It just, for some reason, it just didn't grab me. Like uh, the other one. Mario Party DS. I don't know what it is, but I am not very good at the Mario Party games. I'm just terrible at them. But it's a good game. Mario and Sonic at the Olympic Games. Mario vs. Donkey Kong 2 March of the Minis. This is a puzzle game where you uh, use a bunch of little mini Marios to uh, open up doors so that they can escape. Marker Man Adventures. This is basically where you basically draw lines so that to use them as platforms so because you're trying to get your man from one place to another this could have been an excellent game the problem is the controls on it are so wonky it just I gave up after a little bit just just a uh, horrible controls on the game Marvel trading card game it's a DS version of the versus card game if you like versus the card game then you'll like this Master Jinjin's IQ Challenge. It's basically a bunch of brain teasers in one package. A lot of it's a variety on the, uh, basically the same puzzles, only uh, different uh, versions of the same puzzles. But according to this, there's over 300 puzzles. I wouldn't exactly say that, but if you like puzzles, you might like this. Master of the Monster Lair. This is a DS remake of the Dungeon Maker games from the PSP, which are excellent. Matchstick. You basically have to move the matchsticks for different puzzles to make them look like uh, the figure that's on the top screen. Excellent puzzle game. Math Blaster and the Prime Adventure. This is pretty much a game to teach kids how to uh, count stuff like that. Math Play. Uh, one of the games on here is pretty good, but there's another game that's a card game. And it's, uh, it's a pretty good card game. I don't know the rules right off the bat or off the top of my head, but I remember it's a pretty good card game. Mazes of Fate. This is a DS remake of a uh, one of the last Game Boy Advance games come out. In fact, it wasn't even uh, properly licensed when it came out. This is the remake of that. 
Mechanic Master, basically you're using various tools that they give you with each puzzle and you use those tools to uh, to uh, solve the puzzle uh, using gears and uh, knives and stuff like that. Mech Assault, Phantom War, haven't played this one yet. Mega Brain Boost. This is a compilation of the uh, two other Brain Boost cartridges, and it's got some other extra games with it. There are a bunch of uh, little mini games measuring your intelligence. Meteos, outstanding game. It's a great puzzle game. Uh, you use the stylus to boost up squares, and once you match them up three in a row or three in a column, they uh, shoot the other squares up so that you don't get your uh, screen doesn't get overfilled excellent game uh... beautiful music it's from the same people that i believe made uh... q or made uh, excuse me luminous for the psp meteos disney magic this is basically meteos with a lot of disney characters but it's still pretty fun though Metroid Prime Hunters. Uh, I think the game is okay. I think it's a little uh, kind of hard at first. I still haven't gotten past the first level. Maybe it's just because I don't know what I'm doing or whatnot. But uh, if you like Metroid Prime Hunters, you might like that. Metroid Prime Pinball. Excellent pinball game with the Metroid characters. Miami Nights, Singles in the City. This is basically one of those games where you make decisions and you have to keep re try uh, keep going until you make the right decision. It basically it's not really worth buying uh, unless you're a serious DS collector. I wouldn't even get it. Might and Magic, Clash of Heroes, probably my favorite game of 2009. Excellent RP uh, puzzle game, action game where you uh, have troops at the bottom of the screen and you line them up either vertically to attack or horizontally to defend and it's just an excellent, excellent game. Mind Quiz, Your Brain Coach basically a bunch of uh, IQ type tests. Mr. Slime you're guiding this slime using the stylus, uh, stretching out his arms to catch uh, items to uh, get him moving to the top from, from one part of the screen to the other. It's okay, it's just the controls aren't as intuitive as they should be. M&M's Break'em. This is basically an, a breakout clone with uh, M&M's. I bought it because it was really cheap. Monopoly, Boggle, Yahtzee, and Battleship. These are classic uh, Parker Brothers games. I love Monopoly and I love Boggle. Yahtzee and Battleship I could have probably done without. But if you like uh, those old school games, Parker Brothers, this is a great uh, cart to have. Monster Bomber, a very uh, complex puzzle game where you're trying to... Uh, I believe mixed colors to kill certain colors of monsters. I myself can't get the grasp of it off the top of my head. I'd have to play it again. But uh, it's a pretty weird puzzle game, but it's kind of a budget title. Uh, if you're really into puzzle games, I'd recommend it. Uh, but uh, I don't know how long you'd be into it. But Okay, guys, I want to give a shout out to all my new subscribers. As of today, I have a hundred of them. Please tell me what you think. Tell me what ideas you might have for me for my uh, 100th uh, subscriber anniversary. And I'm looking forward to hearing from you. And uh, I welcome your comments. In the meantime, have a good weekend and God bless you. Bye.